Greetings YouTube, it's Talking Wrestling TV, back at it again tonight with your Super Showdown review, slash Super Shit Down, Super Let Down, Super whatever you want to call it guys, but let's go ahead and get right into it with this show guys, I will say it was a lot of ups as well as downs in the show, but what else would you expect out of a WWE book show? We open up tonight's show with the gauntlet match that started with R-Truth who received a standing ovation guys and Bobby Lashley. To start off a gauntlet match, we started off with Bobby Lashley and R-Truth. Well, tonight we will see Bobby Lashley get squashed by R-Truth. That's right guys, R-Truth in this matchup, he pinned Bobby Lashley and he also guys, believe it or not, pinned the returning Andrade to start off this damn gauntlet match. He was able to defeat Eric Ron by disqualification and then out come AJ Styles to make his ass tap out. Now AJ Styles were waiting on his last opponent that we thought was going to be Rey Mysterio but it wasn't because he was attacked backstage by the club, Gallows and Anderson guys and then we seen them get attacked by the Phenom, the Undertaker who made his appearance, came down to the ring guys and with the second weakest choke slam I've ever seen the Undertaker do, he defeated AJ Styles. He squashed AJ Styles with the second weakest choke slam I have ever seen. And we all know where the first weakest choke slam ever from the Undertaker came from. And it was a year ago at Super Shit Down. But guys, I was hoping that WWE would be building towards AJ Styles and the Undertaker. But after this, I don't want to see the Undertaker in the WWE ring ever again. He can't even pull off a straight up choke slam, guys. The Undertaker at this point in his career, just like Goldberg, need to just take that ball and go home. We don't want no part of the Undertaker and Goldberg right now in WWE TV. WWE has too many talented superstars to still just be building old guys in Goldberg and the Undertaker, but there you have it guys, in the meaningless trophy gauntlet match, the Undertaker of all people won this damn trophy here tonight to start our Super Showdown. Next up, we will see the SmackDown Tag Team Championship matchup between The Miz and Morrison and The New Day. And guys, when um, Big E was looking the hell out that title before the match, I knew right then it was no way The New Day was going to retain the tag titles, and they didn't, guys, because Miz and Morrison are now your new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Next up, we will see Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo in a rematch from this past Monday Night on Raw. It would be a good matchup, but nothing like their matchup this past Monday on Raw. And another pressure win, guys, by Angel Garza. I can't say I am a fan of him now. He's looking like he's going to have a good push here on the main roster, and I can't wait to see that tag team matchup with all four men this Monday night on Raw. Should be a great epic tag match, guys. After that, we will see Seth Rollins and Murphy defeat the Street Profits to retain their Raw tag team titles. In the matchup, I'm pretty sure anybody that was watching didn't give a damn about. After that, guys, we will see Ricochet versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE title. It will be Lesnar with three hellacious suplexes, guys. I'm talking about he suplexed the hell out of Ricochet tonight. Picked him up, caught him in the air, and gave him one L5 to retain the WWE title. Where does Ricochet go from here, guys? Back down to the bottom of the barrel. Well, he should have been all alone, guys. This should have been Bobby Lashley tonight in this role, in my view, guys. But Brock Lesnar, looking strong going into WrestleMania. After that, it would be Roman Reigns defeating Queen Corbin in a steel cage match. And I'm glad this rivalry, I hope, is over and over for good. And Roman Reigns got the win. And his celebration at the end of this match was like he just won the World Rumble or the WWE title. I'm sick of seeing WWE go all out for Roman Reigns with Pyro and everything that they do. This man just beat Baron Corbin and all the power that went off is like he just won the damn title. Next up, SmackDown Women's title, Naomi versus Bayley. In this matchup, Naomi will put up a respectable performance, but it would not be enough tonight because Bayley will retain the SmackDown Women's title. Where does she go from here? I'm hoping that Sasha Banks returns here soon so they can set up a program with those two women going into WrestleMania. Main event matchup, guys. Goldberg versus The Fiend Bray Wyatt for the Universal title. 
And guys, there you have it. Goldberg with four spears and a jackhammer to simply squash the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Now, where does WWE go from here? I'm hoping that we see a rematch here on SmackDown next couple weeks or even at Elimination Chamber. Because after seeing Goldberg in the ring tonight, I don't think he's ready to go at WrestleMania against John Cena or Roman Reigns. So, I don't know what WWE is planning on doing with this Universal title going into WrestleMania, but they need to get it together and they need to do that fast, guys. Like I said, guys, it was an all right show. It had its ups, it had its downs. But like I say, what would it be without ups and downs in a WWE book show? We got Friday Night Smackdown tomorrow where the return of John Cena will be live on the show tomorrow to see what his next move will be going into WrestleMania as well, guys. Thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in to this review. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, turn that bell on for all notifications. And again, thank you guys for all your support and watching the videos and hitting that like button for me. I'm out, guys.